Today on Two Day Pass, we're going over the 10 most common reasons why people fail a driving test. And I'm gonna let you into a little bit of a secret now. This reason that I'm about to explain isn't actually on the list. The part that we're gonna explain on the list is number six, response to signs, traffic lights. We'll come to that shortly. I think it's pretty much self-explanatory, but I will fill in the details on traffic lights. Meeting situations is what I'm referring to. It's not on the list. I'm so shocked that it's not one of the 10 most common reasons for failing, because if you're watching this video, which you must be because you wouldn't have heard my voice, then you're probably worried about meeting situations because the amount of people that go to me, oh Scott, I don't want to go to that test center because there's so many meeting situations. Yeah, but you don't get anything else that's at all the other test centers. So there's a very good reason for going there. Okay, uh, so I've got a vehicle coming in front and who's going to give way? So there's a vehicle behind me. This vehicle is actually signaling right. So must be turning right so I'm going to proceed and the vehicle behind me I call it a train so if there's a train of vehicles behind me I'm less likely to stop there's only one vehicle in front but the most important part about meeting situations is judge the vehicle oncoming by its speed if the vehicle is not slowing down you need to stop that's the easiest way now back to the list so we've got response to signs traffic lights okay brownie points to anybody that believes they know how somebody's gonna fail for traffic lights if you said not stopping for a red light pat yourself on the back you're totally correct and if you said which might not be most commonly fought out not seeing the green light so a lot of people stop at the red light this is a tricky turn, by the way. So this is the Rainers Lane route. You get asked to turn right. A lot of people go straight down here. No. Look at the road markings. Response to signs. Road markings. We covered that one back at number nine. So if someone's seen a red traffic light, they stopped. They're waiting. They might not see the light go green. If nobody beeps their horn and you don't move and it goes red again, you're gonna fail for response to signs, traffic lights. More common is you might have a filter light. What's a filter light, you may ask? It's a green arrow. So say, for example, you've been given directions to turn left at the traffic lights. When you come to the traffic lights, they're red. You stop, you wait. The red light stays on, but at the very bottom, because there'll be four lights, so turning left on that roundabout to follow the route, There'll be four lights and the bottom light is a green arrow, filter light pointing left. If you haven't seen this left arrow and you haven't gone when the green left arrow filter light has come on, you guessed it, that could potentially be a fail to your response to signs and traffic lights. So guys, I'm finishing off the route now. I'm roughly halfway through. If you stayed with us so far, we're on number six, moving on to number five. Don't forget if this video is giving you value, please smash that like button. Or if you prefer, just gently give it a little tap. And check out number five. Stay alive or stay awake. See you on the next video.